So I get quite a lot of people asking how I got started in printmaking, um, which I originally did as part of a, a BA Fine Art course so a long time ago. Um, but I didn't do it for a long, long time and then I ordered an SD lino cutting and printing kit online, which was around four years ago. And that's where I went from. Um, and now I'm lucky enough to work with SD and I stock these on my website so I thought I would just give you a little insight into what's in the kit so uh, it's a 23 piece kit which we sell for 25 pounds which is an absolute bargain and um, I'll show you all the little pieces that we have inside it so first of all the most important thing we have the lino so this is your more traditional hessian back lino you can hear it's quite hard this is what people probably call the the battleship grey um, it's a more traditional type of lino and it can be quite hard to work with. The trick is to kind of heat it up either by uh, warming it with your hands or sitting on a radiator. It works really well. Um, we also have some bigger sheets of the same. So it's a natural product um, and you can find it in quite a lot of different art and craft shops. But this SD version is a great version to get started with. And we also get a couple of sheets of this, which is a, a rubber lino. You'll get, um, some purists don't like this, but I actually do work with rubber linos very well. It works well with fabric print and it's more durable, more flexible and less likely to crack. So if you're thinking about doing textile work, this is the perfect material. Easy to work with um, and you can wash it, just wash it and you can use it again and again. Also within this kit we have, these are for making stamps. So you've got this little thing here, so you can pop it in and you can use this for making round stamps. So you would carve away at this and then you can actually use this here, which is a, a multi-tool. So we use it as our baron, so for applying pressure. And we also, there is sticky pads on the bottom of here so you can attach it here and use it as a stamp action. Also within this, if you unscrew the handle, not only is it your baron, but inside we have our blades. So just tip these out so you can have a look. So we have the screw piece that goes onto the handle, so that's just for holding your blades in. And then we have the different types of blades. So you'll see this is a large V, which is good for cleaning out larger background areas. A small V, that's a really fine one. So it's good for the thinner, finer lines, little details. We have a round point. So good for circular shapes or if you're making little dots. We have the safety blade, which is great for beginners. You can see this little space in the middle. So it actually only clears from that little point in there. And then these bits here protect your fingers round. We have the mid-size V, which is the one that I usually tell people to start with. It's a lot easier to work with. You can use different pressures to get a thinner or fatter line. And then we have the straight edge. So this is your knife blade. So it's good for tidying up straight edges if you're doing lettering or something like that, or if you want to cut away a little bit of excess on the outsides of your lino. It's just like your Stanley blade type thing. To get these in, you'll see in the end here, it's just a round shape. So you're just sliding these in here. So it makes changing the blades out really easy and you're just tightening it up. Dead easy to use and quite an easy one to hold. So within the kit as well, we have this thing here, which you're probably wondering what that one is. This is a great piece of kit for beginners. You can use it to hold your lino in place and it's actually a finger protector. So if you are carving away, it'll stop you from chopping your little fingers, which unfortunately is a bit of a 
a beginner's hazard, but you soon get used to it. As long as you're carving away from the fingers, you're all the better. Once you're finished with these blades, you just unscrew them, take them back out. And then this part here, you pop it back on. And this is what you use as your baron. So when you're using your paper and you're using this to add to your pressure, to transfer your image onto paper. Great piece of little kit there and so great if you're traveling around, you just store all these little bits back inside. You also get with the kit, the ink tray, which of course is essential. Once you've carved your image out on the um, linos, you're gonna need your ink. And then you get, depending on which kit you buy, you can get black or blue ink. I like to start with black. Um, Great for showing up the details. So you get this and it's water based, so easy to clean up. Everything in this kit can just be washed with soap and water. And you have your roller. So this is for rolling out your ink. It's a bit different than uh, using fabric paints or anything. If you've used that before, you always have to roll out your inks and the, the less the better, basically. All you want is thin layers built up and that is what you will use to get that. Within the kit as well, we have the instructions, which are dead easy to use. Shows your safety advice, how to use every single bit. Has uh, examples of the cuts that you can make with different blades, how to prepare your ink and your tray, and what you can achieve there. Even the cleaning. So as you can see, it's a fantastic little piece of kit and well worth every penny. If you have any other questions, please do let me know and I can answer them best I can.